Welcome back to That's Debatable. Today's debate powered by Cisco's WebEx is walking versus riding. We've got Luke Perdinine, who will try to win me over with his British accent, going up against Rachel Blyer, who will try to win me over by yelling. Luke, <laughs> you are the higher seed. Would you like to go first or second? Thank you, Sean. I'll go second. I just want to say you look great today. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. Rachel, you got 60 seconds. Let's hear it. All right, so walking is definitely better than riding in a golf cart. It's better for your health, it's better for the health of the course, and it's better for the health of your game. Health-wise, Harvard Medical School did a study and the World Golf Foundation pr uh, proved it where you burn 1,500 to 2,000 calories walking 18 holes of golf. That's good for your heart, that's good for your body and muscles, that's good for basically your entire physical be well-being. And also, it's good for your brain, that Alzheimer's Foundation showed a connection between walking and um, better memory function. So it's better for your overall body. It's also good for the course. We all know that there are rules about where you should and shouldn't ride your golf cart, but even the USGA has admitted that golf carts cause significant damage in high use areas. And most people we know don't follow those rules. Let's be real, they ruin it for everyone. So don't be a person who ruins it for everyone. And then last, it's good for your game. The game is all about rhythm. It helps you get in a rhythm to walk between your shots. Takes you, even Luke, he's an instruction editor. He should know this. Golf is all about All right, rhythm. that's 60 seconds. Out. Great work, Rachel. I see there are no notes on your lap, so you'll be dinged a little bit for that, but plenty of good health points. Luke, what have you got? You know, Sean, it's this, exactly this kind of snobbish attitude towards walking that's killing golf, okay? Golf carts, they make the game more accessible. Did you know 30% of golfers, core golfers in this country are over the age of 60? And the reason why they, they quit this game is because golf gets too physically strenuous for them. That's only being made worse by the fact that courses are getting longer, all of which slows down pace of play. Golf carts solve these problems, right? And they're also good for the golf course itself. It allows golf courses to book more rounds because the pace of play gets pace of play gets lower so they can increase the supply which brings down costs for everyone it's why golf carts have become an american success story club car club car has an 858 million dollar company they employ thousands of people worldwide and they do so by bringing the cost down for everyone making golf more inclusive and this country club attitude of saying that golf isn't good unless you're walking completely misses the point it all right, that's 60 away. seconds. Luke, great work. You guys have me on the fence right now. I feel like you've both left nothing left in the holster. Rachel, you got 30 seconds. Convince me. As far as pace of play goes, Luke, you're absolutely wrong. As far as accessibility goes, you are right. And I did not say that golf carts should not exist. And, and people who need golf carts to be physically able to play golf should have access to them. However, golf carts and walking have been proven to show no gain in pace of play. It takes just as long for people to ride between every single shot they hit on the course as it does for you to walk from your shot to your, to your next hit shot. And it also, when you walk, you know what you are coming up to. You can make your club selection in your head. You can be ready for ready golf. And it makes it actually faster to play while walking. Not positive that there's a ton of data behind that, but I like the point, Rachel. Luke? I like the point too. I'm sorry, I like the point too. Rachel said I was correct and she said that everybody should have golf carts who needs them. I mean, because the fact is that golf carts make golf more convenient and she's missing the point that my dad, for instance, who loves his golf but has a horrible back problem, he could not play golf if it wasn't for golf carts. Golf carts allow him to play golf just like it allows the four million other golfers who can enjoy the golf, who can enjoy the game quickly, can do so without such a physical toll. And it's just common sense that that speeds up the pace of play too. That's why golf carts across the across the country have golf carts because it allows more people onto the golf course allows them to save time from walking between shots. all right your 30 seconds is up both of you have made great points here but as someone who really puts a lot of weight in the academic world i think i need to go with rachel citing harvard university oh. rachel yeah Barton, <laughs> citing harvard university uh you have you've done a lot of research. I really appreciate that. Rachel Blyer, you're moving on in that's debatable powered by Mocha.